Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrow Gate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrow Gate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. In 2024, beloved, I am wrapping up all the messages that our Father has given me. And it's my last year on YouTube. Our Father is done, beloved. We serve a powerful God, the great I am, the one and only risen King, the only wise God. In Him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I have received few messages from some of the saints, beloved, regarding the eclipse that is going to happen in America, I think, on the 8th of this month, April, some were asking me if it is true that it is three days of darkness or if it is true that three days of darkness is going to occur on that day. So I am just doing this video, beloved, to set your mind at ease. Remember, our Father revealed that we will see the signs of his coming in the sky. And I have shared that message as I am showing you right now. Again, let us remember what Luke chapter 21 verse 25 says. It says that, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. That is the word of God, beloved. And I have shared this. So we do not have any reason to panic at all, beloved. These are the signs that are reminding us that our Father is on his way. As I have been sharing, that we are on the countdown. So let us not be carried by every wind of doctrine out there. Three days of darkness is not going to happen on the 8th of April. And I know, beloved, there are some who are going around telling people that Three days of darkness is not going to happen. It is not biblical. And I remember I shared this message that it is going to happen. And I want to share with you from the book of Amos chapter 8. Amos was a prophet of the southern kingdom. And God sent him to the northern kingdom. We know that Southern Kingdom was Judah in Jerusalem and Northern Kingdom was Israel in Samaria. So he sent Amos to go to prophesy to them. And just like other prophets, beloved, they will be warning the children of Israel that God is going to punish them for their sins which I have covered the sins that the children of Israel were committing, both Samaria and Jerusalem. Praise the name of the Lord. So the book of Amos is about that. He prophesied the calamities of Judah in Jerusalem and of Israel and the other nations as well that were in Israel. So like other prophets, he prophesied about the gathering of the children of Israel again. That is what the book of Amos is mostly about. So I want to share with you from Amos chapter 8, and I will read verse 9 and 10. The word of God says, and it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. 
and I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end therefore as a bitter day. That is the word of God, beloved. So when you pay attention to Amos chapter 8, verse 9 and 10, Amos was giving a prophecy to the nations. It was not just to the land of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God says clearly that I will darken the earth in the clear day. He said, I will darken the earth, the earth in the clear day. Praise the name of the Lord. So that eclipse, beloved, it is not throughout the entire earth. It does not go in line with the prophecy. While it happens, some places it will be already at night. The darkness that is coming is going to be felt throughout the earth. That's what the word of God says. And I read for you, he will cause men to lament. People will put sackcloth on their loins. There is a video where I shared that three days of darkness is judgment from God. And I have shared, beloved, that the three days of darkness is not going to happen until after first transformation. So let us not, beloved, be listening to things out there and be running around and worried. Remember, I said, let us go with the pace of our father. Again, the word of God says in the book of Amos, chapter 3, that the Lord will not do anything without telling his prophets. He is guiding us, beloved. If there is anything that we need to know, he will let us know. Beloved, three days of darkness is not going to happen on the 8th of April because the first transformation hasn't taken place as yet. Our Father is not yet done with us. I have shared that it will be after the first transformation. We are still learning for now. We are not yet finished with all the prophecies. So please, let us stay calm and continue to learn. Our Father is ahead of us. We are walking behind Him. Let us not be carried away, beloved, by things that we are hearing. We should be the one to calm the people down because we are the ones who are being taught the true undiluted gospel of Christ. The eclipse is just one of the signs. I have shared, beloved, about the signs. And many we have testified that the sun has been hot, so hot more than other years. And we are seeing many signs, beloved, in the sky. So let us be reminded on that same day that our Father is at the door. Praise the name of the Lord. So be encouraged, beloved. There is no three days of darkness that is going to happen. Do not panic. We are the children of light. Let us not run around like those who are in darkness. As Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5, that ye are the children of light, the children of the day. 
praise the name of the Lord. So that's it for this message. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.